So, my planetary friends, have you been thinking about our neighbor Venus lately? Not really. I prefer to stay close to you, son. But what about Venus? Hey! What's wrong with me, Mercury? Anyway, what about Venus, son? Well, I was just thinking, is it possible for humans to survive on Venus? Survive on Venus? That's a bit of a stretch, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Its surface temperature is over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't forget about the crushing atmospheric pressure, which is over 90 times greater than Earth's. Even our fancy spacesuits won't be enough to protect us from that kind of extreme environment. And let's not forget about the sulfuric acid rain, which would basically melt any kind of equipment we try to use. It seems like the only way we could survive on Venus is if we turn ourselves into robots. Hey, that's not a bad idea, Neptune. I mean, we could send robotic probes to explore Venus instead of risking human lives. Hey, that's not fair. I feel like you're all ganging up on me. Well, you are kind of the black sheep of the solar system, Venus. But that doesn't mean we don't love you, Venus. It's just that, you know, we like to stay alive. Maybe one day we'll find a way to survive on Venus. But for now, I think it's best if we admire it from a safe distance. Agreed. Let's leave Venus to its hot, acidic, and crushing ways and focus on exploring the other planets in our solar system. All right, team. I think we've solved the mystery of Venus. Until next time, let's keep our eyes on the skies and our feet firmly planted on our own planets. Sounds good to me, son. I'll be sure to give Venus a wide berth on my next orbit. Hey, I heard that. But I guess you're right. Maybe I am a little too hot to handle. Hey, fellow planets, how's everyone doing today? Oh, you know, just orbiting along. So, Earth, what's the latest gossip from the land of presidents? How's Biden handling things? Well, Biden's been busy making moves. He's been focusing on infrastructure and tackling climate change. It's like he's trying to build the ultimate Earth 2.0 expansion pack. Ah, uh, I can picture it now. Biden with a hard hat, laying bricks on the White House lawn. He's really taking building back better seriously. Speaking of building, what about Trump? Is he still building towers and tweeting up a storm? Oh, you bet. Trump is still making waves. He's like a solar flare of attention, always grabbing headlines with his rants and rallies. It's like he's trying to make the universe great again. I have a feeling he's gonna try to start a Trump Tower, Mars Edition, project soon. Can you imagine that? Red skyscrapers as far as the eye can see. Haha, <laughs> let's hope he doesn't take his real estate empire beyond our atmosphere. We don't need interplanetary property disputes. Well, at least the United States keeps things interesting. Politics down there always feels like a cosmic circus. You said it, Jupiter. It's like a never-ending reality TV show. Keeping up with the presidents, coming soon to a galaxy near you. Ah, the drama and comedy of politics. Remember, Earth, we're always watching from afar. Just don't let it get too out of orbit. Thanks for the reminder, son. We'll try to keep our politicians in check. After all, it's our collective responsibility to keep the universe entertained. Absolutely. And hey, if things get too chaotic, I've got plenty of room for an earthly escape on my dusty red surface. Vacation destination, anyone? Count me in. A little break from political antics sounds like a cosmic dream. Let's plan a getaway. Sounds like a plan, fellow planets. We'll take a break from politics, bask in the sun's warmth, and enjoy the wonders of our universe. Remember, laughter is the best anti-gravity device. And so, the planets shared a light-hearted moment, reminding us that humor can bridge the gaps between worlds and bring joy to the cosmos. Hey planets, what's up? Not much, just trying to stay cool. It's pretty hot out here near you, son. Ha uh, yeah, I know. I can get pretty intense sometimes. But that's just part of the adventure of the solar system, 
right? Speaking of adventure, what are we doing today? How about we explore the asteroid belt? I hear there are some pretty cool rocks out there. Sounds like a plan. But how are we going to get there? We can use my massive gravitational pull to slingshot around and gain enough momentum to make it out there. And I can use my rings to help protect us from any debris we might encounter along the way. And I'll use my unique tilt to help us navigate through the asteroids. Plus, my strong winds can help blow us in the right direction. And I'll, I'll just, I'll just be there for moral support. Ha ha, Pluto, you always crack me up. <laughs> but you're still an important part of our team. All right, let's blast off and explore the asteroid belt. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see all the different types of rocks and space debris out there. And I can use my rovers to take some cool photos and gather data on the asteroids. Whoa, whoa. we're really picking up speed now. <laughs> Hang on tight, everyone. Don't worry, my rings have got us covered. We'll make it through the asteroid belt in one piece. Wow, this is really exhilarating. I never knew exploring the solar system could be so much fun. And with all of us working together, we can accomplish anything we set our minds to. Yeah, we may be small, but we're still an important part of the solar system. That's the spirit team. Let's keep exploring and making amazing discoveries together. The adventure of the solar system never ends. <laughs> hey, fellow planets! Have you ever taken a closer look at my magnificent moons? They're quite the stellar crew, if I say so myself. Oh, absolutely. Your moons are a sight to behold Saturn. Enceladus, for example, with its icy geysers, always gives me chills. I must admit, your moon titan has always fascinated me. Its thick atmosphere and hydrocarbon lakes make it seem like an extraterrestrial vacation spot. And let's not forget about your moon Mimas Saturn. It's known for that enormous impact crater that makes it look like the Death Star from a certain movie franchise. Ah, Saturn, your moons are indeed intriguing. But have you seen my personal favorite, Iapetus? It's like a cosmic yin and yang, with one side dark as night and the other bright as day. Iapetus is truly captivating sun, but speaking of contrasts, what about Hyperion Saturn? Its irregular shape makes it look like it's been caught in a galactic blender. Haha, <laughs> you're right Earth! Hyperion is quite the oddball. It's like the rebellious teenager of my moon family. Always spinning in its own unique way. Well, Saturn, it's safe to say your moons are a celestial gallery of wonders. They add an extra dash of excitement to our cosmic neighborhood. Thank you, my planetary pals. I'm proud to have such an extraordinary assortment of moons. Each one has its own charm and mystery, making me feel like the luckiest planet in the solar system. Cheers to that Saturn. Our moons make us shine even brighter. Here's to the beauty and diversity of our celestial companions. <laughs> hey guys, have you heard about the space trash problem? Space trash? You mean like old satellites and rocket parts? Yeah, and all the other junk we humans have left floating around in space. I've seen some of that stuff. It's pretty nasty. Not to mention dangerous. All that debris can collide with spacecraft and cause serious damage. Plus, it's just plain ugly. It's not a good look for the solar system. So, what can we do about it? Can we clean it up? Well, we humans are already working on solutions to remove some of the larger debris, like using nets to capture objects or pushing them into the Earth's atmosphere where they'll burn up upon re-entry. That's just a drop in the bucket. There's still a ton of smaller pieces of debris that we need to deal with. Maybe we could get some robots to help out. They wouldn't have to worry about running out of oxygen or food like humans would. That's a good idea, Mercury! We could build a whole fleet of space robots to clean up the mess. And we could make it into a competition. Which planet's robots can collect the most space trash? I like that idea. 
It could be like the solar system's version of a scavenger hunt. <laughs> and once we've cleaned up all the debris, we can use it to make something useful. Maybe a giant space sculpture or something. Okay, now you're just getting silly. Hey, we've got to have a little fun with it, right? I agree. Let's turn this space trash problem into a fun and creative challenge for all of us. <laughs> hey, everyone! Gather round! I've got some news that's got my tectonic plate shaking. The USA is going through an economic crisis. Oh, my rings, really? What's going on down there? Are they running out of dollars? Well, it's not that extreme, but they are facing some challenges. There's been a bit of a recession, and the stock market has been roller coastering like crazy. Recession, huh? Maybe they should try investing in space travel. I hear it's the next big thing. They could be the pioneers of Martian real estate. Hold your solar flares, Mars. Let's not distract them with interplanetary adventures. They need to focus on fixing their own economy first. Sun's right. But you know, I can't help but wonder if they've considered selling off naming rights to their cities. New York sponsored by Big Burger, anyone? Ha ha. I can see it now. Welcome to McDonaldsville, the city that never sleeps. It would be an out-of-this-world marketing opportunity. And instead of Wall Street, they could have Elon Musk's Martian market. I bet it would boost their economy in no time. Well, while they brainstorm ideas, maybe they should consider tapping into their renewable energy potential. Solar power could be a bright solution. Absolutely, son. They've got the resources, they just need to harness them wisely. Plus, it would give you a run for your money, Sun Solar Showdown. Earth, you always find a way to brighten our conversations. But seriously, the USA has a history of bouncing back. I'm sure they'll figure it out. You're right, Saturn. They've got resilience and innovation on their side. They'll weather this storm and come out stronger, just like they always do. Let's send them some positive Martian vibes too. We're all in this cosmic economy together. <laughs>